Good afternoon. This reference a component of the trial of Radovan Karadzic is expected to commence soon with the testimony of a protected witness, KDZ039, who will testify about his and his family's flight to the UN base in Potocari following the takeover of Srebrenica in July 1995. He will testify about the executions that took place in Bratunac, where he was detained, and how he survived the mass execution at Orahovac. His testimony will start after the completion of the testimonies of protected witness KDZ456 and military expert Ewan Brown, which will conclude in municipalities component of this case. And yesterday the trial chamber denied Radovan Karadzic's request to suspend the trial for a period uh, of one month prior to the commencement of the Srebrenica component of the case. Among other things to highlight, the chamber found out found that the prosecution had disclosed the bulk of the Srebrenica-related items to the accused almost one year ago. The chamber found it regrettable that Karadzic continues to raise the issue of resource limitations as an obstacle to his ongoing trial preparation and stressed that as a self-represented accused, he bears the burden of managing his own case and the resources granted to him. The chamber pointed out that he and his team have had sufficient time to organize themselves and prioritize and review the relevant portions of the material disclosed by the prosecution. The chamber, however, took this opportunity to remind the prosecution of its obligation to provide with the, uh, the accused with all relevant material in relation to its remaining witnesses as early as possible. And in the case of Stanšić and Župljani, the trial chamber last Friday granted Mitya Stanšić provisional release during the upcoming winter recess from 19th of December to 9th of January 2012, having found that he does not pose a flight risk or danger to any victim or witnesses. Proceedings in this case will resume on Monday, the 5th of December at 9 a.m. in courtroom 3, with the testimony of one of the remaining witnesses testifying on behalf of Stan Zhupljani. And the start of trial in the contempt of the tribunal case of Jelena Rašić has been postponed until Monday, the 23rd of January. Rašić, former member of Milan Lukic's defense team, is charged with five counts of contempt of the tribunal. The indictment alleges that in October 2008, Rašić knowingly and willingly interfered with the tribunal's administration of justice by obtaining false witness statement from Zuhtia Tabakovic from Visegrad in exchange for 1,000 euros in cash. The indictment against Rašić was filed confidentially on 9th of July last year and made public on the 22nd of September last year. Rasic was transferred to the seat of the tribunal on the 20th of September 2010 and her initial appearance was held on 22nd of September. She pleaded not guilty to all five counts of contempt. She was granted provisional release on the 12th of November last year pending the start of trial and is due to return to the detention unit on Friday 20th of January. And next Monday, the contempt of tribunal trial of Dragomir Pechanec will commence at 3.15 in courtroom 3. It will be preceded by a pre-trial conference from 11 to 1.45. Pechanec, who is a former security and intelligence officer of the main staff of the Army of the Republika Srpska, is charged with the contempt of the tribunal for failing to comply with or to show good cause why he could not comply with the subpoena in which he was ordered to testify in the case of Zdravko Tolimir. At his further initial appearance, held on 19th of October this year, Pechanec entered the plea of not guilty. And the proceedings in the trial of Haradinaj and others, and Jovce Stanšić as well as and Franko Simatović, continue this week and next as scheduled. In the retrial of Ramush Haradinaj and others, the chamber will this afternoon hear the resumption of the testimony of witness 81, a former member of the Kosovo Liberation Army who has been testifying here since the 21st of November. And in the proceedings in the trial of Javica Stanšić and Franko Simatović, a housekeeping session will be held this Thursday morning at 9 a.m. in courtroom 2 to discuss outstanding issues pertaining to the running of the remainder of the case. Officer, the prosecutor. I have no statement to the briefing. Questions? I should actually reiterate the question I asked a few months ago. Mm -hmm. um, a discrepancy arose during Radic's initial appearance because according to the official ICTY record, he was born in 1942, whereas he himself said he was born in 1953. So um, for journalists that notice the, the problem uh, of the age that we should put in our story, it would be most interesting to know before the 12th of March 
2012, if we can write about his 70th birthday or not. So I wonder if this uh, matter has been elucidated in the past month. I'll have to double check on this and get back to you, but uh, to my knowledge, the uh, date of birth recorded on the official documents of the tribunal comes from his official documents, so should not be changed since then, but I would like to just take some time and uh, uh, double check this with the chamber before I get back to you with the official uh, confirmation. It could be this afternoon or, or, or tomorrow. It depends on the. Could th even be Monday. Uh, yeah. Some delays uh, with one of the witnesses. Uh, I think it's either tomorrow or Monday. Yeah. And, and you speak about delays. Uh, do you speak about uh, cross examination, which is longer than expected, or witnesses not being there, or other technical problems? I think it's the usual uh, delays you encounter with. Uh, examination and indeed cross-examination. So it's not because of witnesses not here on time. Uh, it, it, it takes just a few hours more, which means uh, the next witness has to come uh, a bit later. So if the magistrate says soon, it may still be today, or are you sure it's going to be for tomorrow? It means soon. <laughs> if I had any more precise information, I would have put it that way. I don't at the moment, unfortunately. Okay, thank you.